How's it going, everybody? It's me, Narrator, and today I have a special guest. It is my boy, Eli. I couldn't hear a word you just said. Wait, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Dang it. Hi, hi everyone. <laughs> just just on, oh, my, on my end, you were just like... For those who don't know, this is Eli Double Tap. You should check him out if you haven't, but I'm pretty sure you already know who he is. Anywho, Eli, I've uh, I've converted to the dark side. Uh, I am now embracing my inner veteran status, and that's all I'm gonna start doing for a bit. It's just veteran memes and military shenanigans. Thank you for your oh, service. Oh, oh, right. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me do yeah. the incorrect yeah. salute. Thank, thank you, you. Thank me for my service. Thank, thank me. So what we're doing today is I'm literally just showing you military memes perfect for embracing the suck. And we both know what that means. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> Yes, we do. Most of these, if not, I think all of these are just funny f photos I found. So here we go. When someone says, You can't do that. It's against regs. I don't give a shit. <laughs> That's like haircuts, trimmings, boots Ooh, being tucked in, oh your gypsy God. camp with every sticking out the side. You're like, I don't give a shit. This was me as soon as I got my GD214 paperwork. As soon as I got my orders that I was leaving, they're just like, hey, cool guy, you better start shaving it. And I'm like, what the f you gonna do? Kick me out? You. It's the truth. When you get those papers, you walk around with them. You act like you're doing something. Yep. You just put like a manila envelope and you're just walking Vanilla around. Vanilla envelope. Like, hey, there you go. Hey, high speed, what you do? Hey, high speed, what's that haircut? And you're like, I know. I have an appointment. Oh, oh, big oh you fuck. Roger, sorry, shit. There were so many times during my during my processing where I was just like, hey, big Sarge, I got a, I got, I got appointments to run for my, for my PCS shit. And he's like, all right, cool, pop smoke. And I was like, Roger. And I just went right back to my fucking room and slept all day. I think I've told you before, but it's a quick story. It is when I got back, my unit messed up because I was in a transition. So yeah. they were like, go to this company or yeah, it was go well, to this it's company. Well, 2023, a lot of people are in transitions. Oh, it, it, <laughs> <laughs> go on. I got my papers and then I went to the unit. They didn't call my name during formation. I was like, hold on. I think I can disappear for the next three months. So I waited the next two days. I just slept. I went to base and then I waited. I didn't get a call that I was missing. Mm. So then after I was like, okay, I don't think anyone knows where I'm supposed to be. So then literally for the remainder three months in the army, I didn't have a unit. So I just got to go wherever I wanted. I slept in, out processed, peaced out. <laughs> it was it's the so greatest good. three months of my life. It's so good. And now you just can make wacky videos on the internet. Look at you go. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Way you better go. than war. When you've known her for 10 minutes. Oh, oh, oh someone wants to get out of the barracks. Oh, someone wants housing. Oh. Someone married a local. Her name's Cinnamon, and she's a stripper down the street. Hey, listen, listen. Sergeant, with, with all due respect, okay, she is an entertainer. Big Sergeant, she loves me. Now I know what love is. I make very good decisions, okay? You sure about that? With me being 20 years old in here of my own accord, bought a new car, preferably a charger, at 20% entrance. I don't even know how that's possible, but I did it. Let me marry Cinnamon. Just, I need the extra bucks, Big Sar. Let me get off base. And now I get to go in a house? Time to marry Cinnamon. He's not joking. If you want the best <laughs> representation of the military, you get at least one divorce under your belt by the time mm. you get back from war. He's at stage one of the um, dependipotamus. <laughs> I forgot about the dependipotamus. <laughs> soldier eats like shit before PT test. Fails the PT test. The soldier. What happened? <laughs> I had one dude, I I literally, he would not eat ever. He just would, eat, he was an overweight, he was a fat body. So he would fail every okay. PT test. We kept him in somehow. Mm. And I remember we had to do one battalion formation run, which is mandatory run. Oh, it's, it's 100%, you can't get out of that. Literally 0.1 miles into the run. We see him doing this. We're like, why does he keep looking over? And he goes, 
and he yeets himself off the side of the the road and falls and tumbles. He's like, big sorry. I sprained my ankle. I can't make it. I just go on without no me. No like, shit. Intentionally, we watched him hey, like yeet himself. You know what though? You gotta give the man points for just falling out of regs that fast. I am. Someone's God, going to the field. <laughs> <laughs> Red Bull and one giant Rice Krispie <laughs> treat. And my man's pulling security shifts. Look yeah, at this. Basic training, I used to uh, pay people to sleep or do my guard shift so I could get extra sleep. During I, basic. I was like, you pay because of sleep? Shh, go back to sleep. I'll pay you if I can take your guard shift, please. Just let me look. Just let me stare at you a little longer. Oh, when the B and fun activity starts at 6.30, but first sergeant wants everyone information at 5.45. Okay, big, so, hey, 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 soldier. Hey, 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 soldier. Hey, hey, who? We Please. need you to keep motivated. So, uh, we're gonna, uh, first, we're gonna step off at nine. I need no. you guys in formation at 5.45 no. for step off at nine. No. Uh, no. It's gonna be cold, so make sure you don't bring any cold weather gear, because that is for it is and, uh, snowing yeah. outside. You know what that means, everybody. Take it off. Making formation 15 minutes prior to the BN formation. <laughs> Making formation 30 minutes prior to the 15 minutes prior to the BN. <laughs> I like it's the first aren't doing it. <laughs> it always is, like, bro. Hey, it always is. If you're trying to understand what we're talking about, essentially, if someone gives you go, if someone gives you a time that goes meet here for a meeting, 9 a.m., you're like, oh, cool. I could wake up at like 8.15, grab a coffee, be there by like nine, like 8.50. In the army, it's like the big boss wants everybody at nine. So the boss under him wants to see everybody at 8.30. Boss under him, eight. Boss under him, 7.30. By the finally, when it gets down to like your NCO and then you, it's like four or three in the morning. And then you just wait around for shit to happen. Yeah, you're there Friday when formation's at 9 a.m. Monday. Mm -hmm. If you are early, you are on time. If you are on time, you are late. And if you're late, you're f Uh-oh. <laughs> Let me guess. First Sergeant caught us shaman at the PX. Yep. He's walking over to us, chewing us out. Most likely. Bring Wait, it on. No. <laughs> <laughs> And did you ever get caught shamming at the PX? I did. <laughs> oh, I was in a recliner. <laughs> Dude, that's when you're just like this and you're like, uh, you look over and you're like. It was so good because I was like, yeah, I'm going to try out this recliner. <laughs> like the, the model with the floor models. And I leaned all the way back in this shit. Oh man, so, who's blocking the light? And just first sergeant's like, oh, I got your ass now. <laughs> it's your face went to his face when you set up. You're like, mm. it's just testing the big couch out, big arm. Oh, 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 I get it. You're trying to put that in your truck. You're, you're trying to put that in there. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, private. Buy it. Put it in your striker. Bolt it to the floor. I want your already tight and confined space to be even more tight and confined. Put the fucking chair in there. If I was an evil sergeant, I would be diabolical. You just come up with creative ways to fuck with privates. Hey, uh, I, I can't find all the materials I need for this map. Can you go in the office and ask for a pricky seven? Hey, big big soldier, can you go uh, ask the first time where the grid squares are? Where the f or the batteries to the chem lights. Can someone go get those? We need to do this exhaust test. So get the trash bag, capture the exhaust, run it down there, and ask for the test on the exhaust to see if we're in limits or not. If we're not in limits, we can't go. <laughs> All the, and the private's like running around with trash bags. Like <laughs> Everybody else could just, ever, as soon as they see a trash bag with a private, they're just like, <laughs> exhaust sample, you stupid bitch. Whoa, dude. You got a 30 on your ASVAB? The, the Marines could use a superstar like you. 
It's like, whoa, calm down, high speed. Whoa, whoa. Are you sure you're not trying to get into the Air Force with that kind of grade? But we have you listed for infantry, man. And you have to <sighs> test high to get that on the FM. <sighs> oh, my God. You got double digits? Says me and you with infantry. <laughs> <laughs> I was a calf scout. I was yeah. like... I was like lazy infantry. I was dumb infantry. I was so old. Hey now. Hey now. <laughs> You're kind of right though. <laughs> I love how Cav Scouts and infantrymen like butt heads all the time. And like our, our only excuse is like, our jobs are like five jobs in one, stupid. But it's just like, can you read a map? Can you use a radio? Congratulations. You like to wear cowboy hats? You're a cowboy, baby. <laughs> you ever do a spur ride, son? Nope. I, I was uh, I was one of the cadres for a spur ride. Or not the cadre. I was uh, one of the people for a spur ride that was like helping out. I watched everybody else go through the suck. And then at the very end of it, Sarn Major and First Sarn are drunk as f time to take them home. And I'm like, la 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 la. <laughs> and I just drove them back home when I got the day off. <laughs> it's all You're just living the dream. You're like, oh yeah. This is perfect. When the specialist takes over the platoon sergeant position in formation, the revolution has begun. The E4 mafia has risen. Sound the alarms. Everyone, quick, page everyone in the unit. First sergeant down, I repeat. The E4 mafia has taken over. This is not a test. It was the rank I got out as. This cute little thing right here, that's the emblem. That's what we call a sham shield. Oh yeah. It's the greatest thing ever. It's the, we we once you make that rank, Oh, the, re the the power you can use. And the lack of responsibility you the get. The lack of respect you have for people. <laughs> You're in that perfect where like, I don't have to be in charge of shit, but privates are going to tell me what to do and they'll listen to me. This is the perfect rank right here. The look they get just before our mechanic. <laughs> Well, 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 privates. It would seem someone didn't put a lock on their war locker. So everyone's gonna die. <laughs> Whose lickies and chewies are these? Did, uh, did, uh -oh. did you, Timmy Fatbody, want this Pop Tart? Mm, no, no. Are you from the Chow Hall? You want to bring your rats to the barracks, brother? J drill Sergeant, no, Drill Sergeant. You stay there. You just stay right there. We're gonna smoke everyone else while they watch you just stand there with a smile on your face. That sound good? Hey, did I ever tell you that's how I got a the nickname Pudding in my basic no. training? No, I didn't tell you this story on the podcast. Super quick, uh, the Spark Notes version was I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. In my basic training. So I got bronchitis, I went to the doctor, did all that bullshit. Gave me a note, whatever. I then looked at the time and uh, I was like, okay, well, it's lunchtime. My platoon has to be at lunch in the DFAC. So I was like, I walked over to the DFAC. Drill Sergeant's there. All my people are there. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I was just like, Drill Sergeant reporting back in, blah, blah, blah. He's like, get lunch. What I didn't know is that they had a whole spiel about, hey, there's going to be some like desserts and like pudding and like cool shit there. Don't put that shit on your plate at all. I didn't know. I was You there. missed that safety brief. So I just went ooh chocolate pudding <laughs> big old scoop and i sat down and everyone got real quiet all three of my or wait no it was drill sergeant who was it, it was drill sergeant simpson drill sergeant song drill sergeant manez yeah those three came up like a eagles and just went what are you doing high speed and i'm like drill sergeant justine drill sergeant he was like like that chocolate pudding i'm like I haven't had it yet why i just like so you just so just fuck us, right? You just don't care? You just don't care about what we think or what we say? Oh, that's cool. And I was like, Drill Sergeant, I just got back from medical. I don't know what's going on. He goes, oh, oh, what? Oh, huh? you, let me see that. Let me see the little note. Oh, bronchitis. Oh, you're, you're doing the, the, the pudding to help your throat. Oh, well, we told everybody else they can't have pudding. Go ahead. Just, just eat it. Uh -huh. Just eat I don't it. want to. I don't want to. Just, just eat it. Just all right. So he goes like, no? Okay. All right. We don't have to. We get back into the barracks. Tells everyone to line up on the kill square. He tells me to stand in the middle of the kill square. <laughs> and he brings out the biggest bowl of pudding I've ever seen. 
<laughs> and he goes, here you go. <laughs> Eat it up. <laughs> Everybody else is going to do push-ups until you finish the bowl. <laughs> And the murder of the eyes during that, it's just this. It's like doing flutter kicks and it's just, I'm going to kill you. Just wait until you go to sleep, dumbass. I fucking hate you, puddings. It's going to be really puddings. crazy when uh, no one wakes you up for your fire guard shift. I'm going to slap you with soap. So hard. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> oh, no. the bend and reach. <laughs> I jump I the floor oh, lunge. The thigh stretch. The squat bend. <laughs> the bend <laughs> leg body twist. Like Hey, yo, Spider-Man be hitting it, though. He's hit, he's yeah. hitting every single one pretty good, though. I jump for pose. I jump for pose. Ready? <laughs> Ready? <sighs> <laughs> the bend and reach is perfect. It's literally perfect. These are all exercises that you do in the morning. Holy shit. <laughs> Infantry, le we lead the way, engineers. Yes, after we clear it for you first. Now, you see? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. That, hmm. Your move, infantry. I we had a different, apparently, when I was in war. I remember we had to call EOD for a bomb, mm -hmm. and then EOD wouldn't come in to disarm it unless we covered everything and did, like, a call for fire. So we had an F-18 uh, do a flyover for show of force, and then pushed everything out just for one EOD blast explosion. They wouldn't even Bruh. go near it. I was like, uh, this made this day really long. Yeah. When your battle buddy snitches on you when you're in COS where you've been, you are the enemy of the people. You do not get to wear that f***ing sham shield proudly anymore. What is it called? Kaka. Blue Falcon. Kaka. Kaka. Just fly into the big, just that blue bird coming in, <laughs> but buddy fucking everyone. I heard some news about Private Jeffrey. You better shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, I wanted to explore all my options. We're the only branch that follows you to your job, bonus, ship date, term of service, and incentives <laughs> applicant. Ooh, <laughs> everyone else is pissed. And just like that, we got him. <laughs> Sign on bonus, sail a charger. Let's go. <laughs> where, uh, where do I sign? Cool. Five where year contract. Sign? That sounds good. That sounds good. That sounds good, bro. Oh, my fucking God. I, as soon as I read the first, the first know, sentence. Just... Military doctor. Have you tried ibuprofen? Yes. And you're still in pain? Well, yeah. Impossible. Hey, high speed. I need you to take that ibuprofen. There take you go. Face outward. Drink water. Turn around. Huh? How you feeling? Change those socks. As he so my legs shattered. It's broken and it looks like a compound fracture. That might be two ibuprofen. Mm, then. Mm. You know Here, what? We're, just, we're gonna bump you up to the eight hundred milligram, and um, we're gonna give you a Red Bull so it speeds through your system faster. There you go. I just love that's not a joke. It's not. Like <laughs> that's what people do. That is not a joke. For those of you who don't like literally in like I went to the act doctor only a very few times because if you do, you seem you're seen as a f weak piece of shit, whatever. But I had to go because I physically could not put any weight on my right wrist. I couldn't do push ups. I couldn't do shit. Even just getting out of like a of, of like a bath. I like I couldn't put any weight. So I was like, I got to go. I have to see him. And they didn't take x-rays. They didn't do shit. He grabbed my arm and then felt right where I told him it hurt a lot. And he goes, yeah, you may have broke it or you may have sprained it. Um, we're going to give you some good old 800 milligram ibuprofen and a Red Bull. And I'm like, Sh no fucking way. Y you mean like to start off before I go to x-ray? And he's like, why would you go to x-ray? We're just going to write this piece of paper that says uh, you can do all your normal exercises and work duties. Um, sh you just can't do push-ups and stuff. I'm like, I can't fire a fucking weapon with no wrist. And he's like, use your other hand. Why didn't I think of that? When you're headed back from the field and don't see your weapon. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> oh no, he's so dead. <laughs> That one's fuck that that one's gold. <laughs> 
I would have to say, like, it's only once in a blue moon, but I would think the the only time I ever have any kind of, like, quote-unquote PTSD is while sometimes I'll have a dream that I'm back in the military, so it's a nightmare. That's what a lot of us call it. I'll, I'll wake up and ins instinctively, like, reach over on my right side and try and grab my weapon. My weapon would always either be slung on me and like face down, or it would be on my right face pointing straight up to the sky and it would like be secured. So like, no matter what, I could just be like, all right, we're good. I'm safe. To, to piggyback off what the sergeant is saying. Oh, shut uh, off. God. <laughs> It is the biggest fear in the world when you lose your damn rifle. Mm -hmm. When I got back from in Iraq, I for 16 months that shit is not leaving your side. So no, you are like no, it, in it Iraq, is stuck you have to, to have you have like it. glue to take it to your showers, bathrooms, like you carry it everywhere. So when you get back and you're getting in the car, I remember even going to like getting back home, getting in my civilian vehicle, and be like. Oh, oh. like I get out, and yeah, start yeah. looking for my rifle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, Oh, never mind. I don't have it. Thank God. Holy, holy hell. What the heck? You can you get uh, true PTSD from it. Yeah, dude. You like that, that you can ask, uh, you can ask Lindsay. I now have my, uh, my black rain rifle, the American camoed one. It's yeah. just next to me, next to my bed. <laughs> so like heaven forbid one day, I'm just like, <gasps> and I reach over and I go, oh, oh okay. I'm at the scene. No PTSD today. That or the other one when I wake up and I think I'm late for PT. Those are the nightmares you have at the military too. You're like, that was your nightmare in the military. It is like mm -hmm. you're late to PT in formation because it is the amount of repercussions you will suffer from that. L I mean, literally a lot of people don't really understand the full effect of every single person in the military that is higher rank than you can your life up for the rest of your life he's not joking when you're late to like even formation if you're late to work you get like a write-up or you'll like get yelled at maybe this is where they will just smoke the mm -hmm. dog shit out of you for hours mm -hmm. or they'll smoke everyone else in front of you mm -hmm. and you or not you and then those teammates that you can't leave you can't just switch jobs switch platoons yeah hate you if you want fear that's how you instill fear fear and discipline and soldier yep turn them all against each other anyway i uh hope everybody enjoyed two veterans reacting to funny memes just, just the best. it's an easier video it's not so much you know high state crazy it was just fun and i just say you look handsome that bro, lighting is good bro. shut shut up are you kidding me right now look at your fucking lighting you literally look like you are 4k cinema you look gorgeous god he's just hot. look at them eyes